Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back. Today I'm going to try and repair this vintage Edson cup holder. As you can see, it's got a crack in it. Somebody put the wrong screw in the holes. As you can see, they had problems. And uh, they split the wood right there. So I'm going to try to repair it. What I need is my wood glue, a razor blade I use to open up the hole, open up the gap a little bit. So I found that and I pounded that in there a little bit. That opened up the hole enough for me to get the sandpaper in, which I got into the cracks. It's 80 grit, sanded it down both sides. Now a lot of people have told me or expressed on the internet that it's really difficult to glue, to glue um, teak because it's very oily, but uh, I'm going to try anyway. So I got some glue. I sanded down the both sides of the slot, the crack, the Edson butt crack because it's on the bottom and uh, hypodermic needle. And I'm going to inject the glue into the crack and see if I can't get it to hold. So I sanded it down and I'm going to glue it up as quick as I can. So maybe the oils won't have a chance to uh, come out of the grain and jack up my repair. So we'll see how it goes. There we go. Take my quick grip, pull out my spreader, boom. And then we're going to crank on it, see what happens. Keeping it square, square as possible, it's a little high. Squeeze it pretty hard here. Doesn't seem to be coming out the cracks very much. But we'll see how we go. Take a little bit of paper towel. Wipe away the excess. I'm going to sand this down anyway, so I'm really not too concerned with getting all the extra glue off. Just most of it. So here we go. There it is. So that'll be glue. I'm only saving it because it's actually a upside down but you can see it's it's an Edson um, original part uh oh comes with the uh, brackets goes with the cockpit table on the pedestal I probably won't use it but I had a few minutes so I thought I'd share it with my little repair let that dry for a while actually several uh, probably till tomorrow and then tomorrow I'll take uh, some epoxy 
and I'll fill these holes up. I'll open up the holes, fill them with epoxy, let that go off. Day after that, then I'll sand it down and uh, finish it with the Starbright Teak Sealer, which I found online at a marine place for, I think it was 28 bucks instead of the $52 I paid last time at West Marine. So a uh, little bit of a discount. We'll see how that works out. Well, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want or don't. I don't go. Doesn't matter. Thanks. Bye.